So I'm going to show you how to find all the possible answers to a K-map with um, some essential prime implicates. So first of all, we have to find all the prime implicates. So let's look at this one. This one, we can go left and circle with this don't care. And we can also go down and circle with this. And I cannot go right because it's a zero, so I'm done. I have two circle here. And now for this one, I can only go up and nowhere else, right? And now for this one, I can go right. I can also go this way so that this and this. And for this one, I can only go up and I, can, I cannot go left or right, okay? So I'm going to write down all my prime implicates and the next step is to find if there's any essential prime, right? So I'm going to look at zero here, zero shows up somewhere else, so I'm going to check four next, but four is a don't care, so I don't check it, so this is non-essential. Similarly, this is zero. Zero shows up here, so we're going to move on and check one. One doesn't show up anywhere else, so this is essential. We don't check four because four is a don't care. We check six. Six shows up here, so this is non-essential. So this one, six shows up somewhere else, but only seven. 7 only appears here, right? So this is essential. So now when we draw when we draw the tree, we start up with we start with a uh, an essential prime. Because that would help us eliminate a lot of cases. So we start with the number we see is the one that make it essential. So for example, this M01 0 shows up here, but 1 doesn't show up anywhere else. 1 is the number that makes this essential, so we're going to pick 1 first. Okay, so I'm going to cross out 1, and I'm going to write down I'm going to go, I'm going to write down 0, 1, okay? So the next number to pick is, we can pick 0, 6, or 7, but 0 shows up here. And then we also see that this is my essential prime, right? And the reason why it's essential is because of 7. So I'm going to cross out 7. And I'm going to write down in 6, 7. So I'm going to stop here and I'm going to check. If I covered all of this, so I see 0, I see 1, I see 6, I see 7. So that's all I have to do. So this is going to be my, this is going to be my, the, the only solution I have. So when I write down the answer, I'm going to write summation, summation of, um, M01 plus summation of M67. And that's going to be my answer. The only, that's going to be my only possibility. So do you guys see how having essential prompts is good? Because we pick these first and then we might not even need to include the non-essential eliminates a lot of cases. So now let's have an, another example. So Let's have another example.
So here, same thing, I'm going to do, I'm going to find all my front implicants. So here I can go, I can go left. I can go this way. And for this one, I can go this way. So I have three circles. So this is actually similar to the one. It's the exact same thing I did last time. The, the other example that I did. So here, this one is non-essential, right? Because six shows up here. And then two is the don't care. So we don't check two. So this one is non-essential because six shows up here seven shows up here and then this is essential because this is the only place where five shows up so rf is actually zero one two three four five six seven this is given by in the question okay using this we we drew out the schema so it, this is given so now how to find all the possibility? Remember, I said start with the essential prime. So here we look at five and seven. Seven appears here. Five is the one that makes this essential. So we're gonna start with five, and we're gonna cross out five. Okay. So I'm gonna have five, seven first, and then now I'm gonna. I can. So what's the best number to pick right now? The best number to pick right now is 6 because 6 doesn't show up here yet, but 7 shows up already. So we want to pick 6. Okay, so I'm going to cross out 6. And there are two possibilities here. I can do M26 or I can also do... M67, right? So I'm going to stop here and I'm going to check if we cover all of this yet. So we cover 5, 6, and then we have 7, right? So we're done. We're going to stop here and we're going to check. We're going to go down here and we're going to check if it covers everything. So this one has 5, this one has 6, this one has 7. So for this one, we have two possible solutions. This is one of them. This is the second one. Okay, 